Good morning. At least this morning here. This is Dave Evans and Bill Burnett. Continuing to talk with you about designing your COVID life. They just extended shelter in place where we live, and they're probably doing that where you live. So how do we do all this? Today we're talking about the value and importance of design teams and trusted networks as part of your life design and career design, work design process, which is absolutely true during this time, true more than ever. First and foremost, do this together. Design is a collaborative effort. We absolutely believe you should have a design team. Even if that design team are just trusted friends, a couple of folks that are giving you feedback on your design, that works great. Or the best case would be we're all working on our own life or career design together and taking turns. That's a, a really generative environment. But the point is, we do these design teams first and foremost because we are truly social animals and you can't even hear your own idea out of your head until you hear it back from somebody else or hear yourself with somebody else. Talking to a mirror, I get nothing. Talking to Bill right there, you know, I can, even if he never says anything and when I'm there almost, I do all the talking, uh, then, you know, it's much different. So give yourself a chance to hear your idea. And of course you have to have a new idea because trust us, the world's gonna change. The empathy for the 2023 version of you that you want to be having right now in your design mindset is going to be different than you had in mind. If COVID had never occurred, your 2023 would be different than the one you're going to have. That's true for everybody on the planet, which means some design work is in front of us. Now, is this the right design model to use, Bill? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we have to, um, you know, one, one of the things is uh, they mentioned, you can't hear yourself uh, when you speak, just keep speaking to yourself in your own head. And in order to discern, discernment, knowing ways of knowing, but more than just your cognitive ways of knowing, you've got to find other people to bounce your ideas off of. And that's also where you get more ideas and more creative ideas. But we want to talk specifically about design teams and finding a job. Some of you may have, um, you know, maybe in a situation where your company's fine, and everything's going along just great. Some of you may be in a situation where, you know, unfortunately, uh, the job you had was gone. So how are you gonna find a new one? Particularly in an era when you, uh, you can't get out of the house, you can't go have that coffee with people that we keep talking about. Well, there's two ways of finding a job. We, one is the, the transactional way. Go to the internet, find listings, send in the resume, get no answers. And the other apply is- Apply for everything. Apply for everything. And the other one is what we call the relational way, where we, where we use our trusted networks to discover uh, the four out of five jobs that are never listed. So relational versus transactional, because we're always pushing relational, and we believe that in the era of COVID and everybody working from home and everybody on this screen, it's going to be easier than ever to activate a trusted network. Not only easier than ever, more important than ever. Because the, you know, we say if you just walk up and somebody thinks you're looking for a job, I mean, you know, 97 times out of 100, hey, do you have, you know, could we talk about a possibility of me joining this company? You got some openings. No. I mean, you hear no right away. Why? Because you're asking that person for something they probably don't have, which is a job to give you. Even if the company has a job, that person may not. But you walk up and say, well, hey, tell me what it's like, you know, teaching remotely nowadays, uh, Bill. You know, you're doing a lot of remote teaching. We could talk about, you know, what's it like to work in the academy. He's got that story to tell. When you ask for a story, everybody has one. That's why seven out of 10 times we think you could successfully land one of these conversations. Very few people have a job to give, especially now. Some companies are hiring, most aren't. Um, so now more than ever, if you ask for the transactional conversation, you're gonna get a no. If you ask for the relational conversation, because they're stuck at home like you with Zoom turned on, your chances are really, really good. So now more than ever, this is the approach you really need to do. Now, is it such a good approach, Bill, that not only, so when I do that, I'm building the asset of relationality. People remember who I am. So yeah. when the water turns back on again, who first comes to mind? That really interesting young woman I just spoke with last week. So you're setting yourself up. But gee, well, is this strong enough to actually get a job even now, Bill? I mean, it's, the world is shut down, right? Well, absolutely. And in fact, you know, we're, we're doing a big effort right now to, to figure out how to support our students at Stanford in jobs. We've got a whole, whole team working on it. But, you know, here's a perfect example. I was talking to the exec, an executive, a very high up executive in a very, very large technology firm. And I said, you know, uh, I, was, I noticed on your website that all jobs are on hold. Is that true? And he said, yeah, corporate wide, we're, we're, we're going to, you know, hire the people we said we were going to hire because we're an ethical company. But, but overall, you know, because it's so uncertain right now, our business isn't bad, but it's, we don't know which, which way it's going to go. So we said we've got a global hold. And I said, well, is that really true? He says, well, 
No, actually, there's a couple of exceptions. We still have a very strong diversity hiring program going. If you had a diversity candidate, I would take that resume and put it on the top of the pile and I could get an exception. I said, well, I just happen to have this young woman that is one of my, you know, one of my students and she's really excited about the kind of opportunities that you might be at your company. Could she apply? And the answer is yes. Without that conversation, if you just went to this massive company's website, you'd say they're not hiring and that's not true. And our experience in talking to lots of executives all over, not just in tech, but all, all sorts of industries is right now, it's kind of lumpy. You know, if you're, in a big tech, if you're in a big tech company or you're doing something that, that has anything to do with remote working, you're booming. And if you're Airbnb or somebody's trying, somebody's trying to, you know, run, uh, run a hospitality or service business, you're pretty much dead in the water. So the, the, it's going to be even more important to rely on your relational networks to figure out where are the spikes and where are the valleys, where, where are the opportunities and where are the places that are just going to be absolutely dead for a little while. So use your common sense. You know, it's clear what industries could grow versus uh, industries are stymied for the time. I'm not, we're not saying, by the way, you probably want to suddenly go work in an industry you don't want to be in. This isn't going to last forever. So, so use your time well. But the answer to the question is, can I break through the COVID barrier? The answer is no. But powerful people can pull you through it. You can't break into it, but they can pull you through. And the only reason they're going to pull you through is they think you're interesting. And the only way they found out you were interesting was you had a life design conversation with them, a life design prototype uh, or an informational interview that started that process. And do you know which person has that exception? Do you know which company is doing it? No, you don't. So what do you do? Let the numbers work for you. Have lots of conversations. Hey, what else are you going to do? It's a productive way to spend your time. Okay. Design your COVID lives. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.